The hard rain has finally arrived. It's Tuesday night. Tuesday? Yeah, Tuesday night. And it's pouring. Bella, you're a little wet. You're a little wet, Bella. You need to stay under here. I'm going to start a fire in the fireplace, and we're just going to be cozy for tonight. Oh, we had quite a night last night of rain. Uh, harder rain than I remember in a long time. As you can see, we've got the river coming down the driveway, and I actually unclogged that drain yesterday afternoon. So it clogged again last night. You can see at one point last night, the water did get right up to the garage door. Okay, the weird part was that this has not filled with water. What I'm seeing is what looks like a gopher hole over here. And that water is going through that gopher hole, right through this berm, and out into the pasture, eroding it more. Bella's just waking up over here. Hi, sweetheart. Look at that tail going. Oh, you're dry, though. That means you stayed here all night long. Good girl. Good girl. So last night when, right after we got in bed, um, we just heard the, the rain start dumping. And so I got up and I tried to get some video of it, but at night, you know, it's kind of hard. I was looking out the windows in the living room. But then when I looked out here, fortunately all these lanterns were still on. And so it did give us a little light out here to see. You can see the aftermath. The deck is completely soaked. Water was just pouring over, not even going into the, the rain gutter. So I'm wondering if the rain gutter is actually clogged. Let's see if I can reach in here. Well, there's a stick. I'll need to get a ladder. So I'm not looking forward to going down and seeing Daisy's area. I'm gonna check on the chickens first. To top it all off, we have a leak in our bathroom roof and we have a slab leak in the same bathroom. So we had a plumber out a few days ago uh, and he kind of checked on all that. And so we do have to get the plumbing replaced in the bathroom. So instead of it going under the floor in the slab, they're going to cut it off at the toilet and the shower and then run it up and over the bathroom. That's always something. It doesn't look too bad in here. The floor, I mean, it's, it's wet, but not flooded. You can see the water going by right there. So it's a little flooded here, a little soggy. Let's check in here. Over there, that's the low side. So I'm thinking it comes in that door and it even probably pools outside the cottage in front of it. But the rest of the floor looks okay. Okay, I'll feed you. How are you girls doing? You like your new digs? So a lot of people ask in the last video if I'm going to be doing the fermented chicken feed video. Yes, I am. And some people ask if I'm still doing it because I know in the last video I was just using dry food. And that's because I ran out of the, the fermented feed and I hadn't been out here in the rain to make a new batch. Still getting zero eggs. It's so funny. So for the most part, I think chickens are pretty dumb. I mean, really, like, like I'm not being mean. They are dumb. Uh, but I do have two chickens, at least two, that are smarter than the other ones. And that is my Lavender Orpingtons. We'll see. They probably won't do it because I have this on camera. But usually I have two bowls of feed. And I'll put the first one in there. And they'll all just conglomerate around it and just push, out, push each other out of the way and trying to get that food. Um, but lately I've noticed that the two Lavender Orpingtons... They don't get involved in that. They know a second bowl's coming. And so they just hang out and wait for that. And then usually they get that all to themselves. Um, there might be a couple others that trickle over and, and join them. But let's see if it happens. Okay, so the lavender orpingtons are the silver ones. So this one here, that one there. All right, down goes the first bowl. Nope, didn't do it. Ella hasn't been in here with them in a while, so just want to make sure she's not getting crazy, going after anybody. They don't seem to be too worried about her. Whoop. Spoke too soon. <laughs> Bella, stay.
Good girl. Okay, let's go. Come on. All right, time to check on Daisy. So another thing we're hoping against, uh, last year in all the rain, our septic system, uh, the leech lines got full of water. And so we were no longer able to flush toilets. Um, we're really hoping that doesn't happen again. Yeah, look at that. The water's just coming right through this berm down below. It's kind of eroded its way through. Headed down to the street. Hi Daisy, you waiting for us? So we've still got a puddle, which obviously that wasn't gonna go away from yesterday, but the straw is getting a little bit damp now. So we're gonna have to go and get another bale today and put some fresh out. So on this side uh, of the corral, people were worried in the comments um, about the steepness of this and if it was gonna start eroding. And honestly, in the last rain, there's a little bit of a crack along here, but there are a lot of logs here and this dirt was sufficiently packed down. So I haven't noticed anything uh, slipping or eroding. I'm going to be putting something here to, uh, I bought a native grass um, prairie grass so it will have long roots that will go down and kind of anchor all this soil together. I'm sorry, are you waiting for me? I'm like, come on, Dad, stop talking to those people. Feed me. I will say that sun feels really good. You're dry, except for your head. I do love the greening up of the place though. Let's head out in the pasture and see what we've got going on. So some of this can be fixed just by adding grass. You know, when we have the grass planted out here and those roots are going down, this can all be minimized. The gopher holes, on the other hand, something different's gonna have to be done. Look, it's just coming from underground. I can't even tell where it's going underground. So the plan, once we have this pond the right size, shape, and location, a lot of this is going to change once we get this, uh, once we don't need this big pad anymore for the dump trucks. It's all something that's going to have to be figured out, but take a look at this little trickle of water here and what it's created. This huge uh, slump off. We lived right by the beach when Noah was, you know, two, three years old. And we used to go down there for walks. And the sand would look like that, where the waves were coming and slumping up. Now there was only like a four foot drop, but we used to go and stand on it and our weight would knock that section off and we kind of go down like a, a quick elevator plunge. He'd love that. He would just squeal with laughter. Kind of miss those days. I want to go over here and check the um, the new berm we put on the area, the property we just opened up uh, a few weeks ago. It is not collecting here. Now I'm hoping nothing opened up and it's going through like on the other side. Well, shoot. Gophers are the issue. I mean, they really... They just create havoc wherever they are. Hey, baby. What you doing? Such a good girl. Yes, you are. Such a good girl. Up here, we've got a pond in the tropical, future tropical bed that I dug out. I talked with my mom and sister this morning, and they said last night when we were having that 
really heavy rain, they were having like ice coming down. Now they are literally just on the other side of these mountains and at a higher elevation. If you're looking at those mountains from where they live, uh, they're not mountains, they just look like a little tiny hill. So that could be why they got ice and we didn't. All right, I'm gonna go in, have some breakfast. Oh wait, you know what I need to do? Okay, it's not clogged. It must have just been raining that hard that it was just overwhelming the gutters. So I have to figure out what I'm gonna be able to get done. Uh, it's supposed to rain tomorrow and the next day, but I really wanna get out here. I'm not good having to stay in the house for multiple days in a row. The first day, first two days, it's nice, cozy, light a fire, whatever. But I wanna get back to work. So I'm gonna go in, have some breakfast, and figure out what I can do that doesn't involve being knee deep in mud. Plus, we've got the Gardening from Scratch for Free series that's coming up on Next Level Gardening, and I already postponed it a week. Uh, I don't wanna to have to postpone it another, so gotta do something. It's really cramping my style. All right, so it's the next day, and man, we were pummeled yesterday, last night. Yesterday it rained all day long, and then last night was some of the hardest rain that I have ever heard. Okay, I know you're, I know you're excited. You've been cooped up on the deck all week. I know, I know, I know. Let's go have fun. Let's go, let's, no, we're not gonna jump. Let's have fun, go. As far as damage, we were quite lucky, um, other than, you know, some erosion here and there. Nothing else happened. Uh, we had a lot of wind. We had no damage trees or structures. And all the erosion that's happened out here in the pasture is, you know, nothing too serious. I mean, one trip with Bill and his tractor and he'll have all that taken care of. Ooh, it's a cold wind though, but no rain. No rain in the forecast for uh, the next 10 days at least. The wind is cold, but man, that sun feels so good. And I'm finally gonna get back out here in the garden. So today, you know, we've got the starting a garden from scratch series for free coming up uh, this Sunday on Next Level Gardening. Of course, I've already been taken to task. It's not free if you have to pay for the water. Yeah, yeah, I get that. So if you live where it's dry in the summer, yeah, you're gonna have to pay for water. Uh, sorry, you might have to buy a shovel too if you don't have one. So next day. And it started raining again yesterday, yesterday afternoon, during the night, and this morning. And what we were concerned about actually happened. We cannot flush our toilets. I'll just stop right there. And because of the leak in the slab, we can only have uh, our hot water on while we're taking showers. But because of the septic issue, we can only take two minute showers. We can't do laundry, can't do dishes. So uh, the plumber should be here any time to get the slab leak fixed. Uh, we have a roofer coming next week to fix the leak in the roof. And we have the septic company coming on Monday to pump the tank. But I do have some exciting news. For all of you, for everyone who put in the comments, both here and on Facebook, I got a couple of t-shirt designs finished. I'll put them right here so you can see them. I have a men's and a women's version. Uh, they will come in multiple colors. They're not out yet because I want to get some samples from the printer to make sure that the t-shirts are good quality. But I want to check them out in person before I offer them to you guys. But I'm excited about it. I'm excited about wearing it. I'm excited about this whole movement. Let me know in the comments if you are as well. As far as the rain, it looks like we are done for at least the next 10 days. So that's great, it's gonna allow everything to dry out a little bit and me to get back out here and get some work done. We got rained out for tomorrow's Next Level Gardening video. Um, I could not, I just couldn't get out here. There's been hardly a break in the rain at all. Everything is just muddy and gross. So that gave me an opportunity tomorrow on Next Level Gardening to talk about something that has come up uh, in the comments on the last video and in our Facebook group, on Next Level Gardening Facebook group. You may have heard there is now a 
genetically modified tomato seed for home gardeners. First, uh, GMO product for home gardeners. And so because the conversation was rampant on our Facebook group and because we've got a lot of questions about it, I'm gonna do a video on my thoughts on this whole thing tomorrow next level gardening. And then, because it's gonna be sunny today and tomorrow, I'm gonna to get out here and get our uh, garden from scratch for free started. So I'm really excited about that. That video should be out on Sunday as scheduled. And I, this is probably a shorter video than usual, but I've just been trying to stay dry. <laughs> I hope wherever you guys are, you're having a great day and I'll see you next time.